Okay, in the last video, I showed you how we could get the lasso tool and we could make a quick selection around a character that, let's say, we wanted to drag from one photograph to another. And we could just do an edit copy, right? And then go to another image. In this case, I went to a different image on the background here. And then we could just do an edit paste. And then that would paste this buffalo on its own layer on top of a background image, right? So you can see I have my background photograph here, right? And then on top of it, I've pasted a piece from another photograph on top. And then with this image, what we could do is we could take our eraser tool and we could erase away the buffalo and thereby having one image on top of another and then erased away. Well, I'm gonna show you an easier way to do that and what I'm going to do is, uh, once again, I've taken off the eyeball from the background layer. I can have it on or off. doesn't matter. All that matters is what layer I've selected here. So I'm on the right layer here, layer one, which is this layer right here. And I'm going to get this other tool that I wanted to show you about. It's called the Quick Selection Tool. And then I'm going to click on this buffalo and start dragging. And as I drag, you can see it, it basically does a nice selection of the buffalo right and then I'm going to drag into the tail right to try to get the tail also and it picks up the tail also which is a pretty good thing so now uh, there are a couple of pieces that haven't been selected so if I wanted to I could zoom in by holding down the control key on the keyboard and hitting the plus key then I could hold down the space bar pull it over and then if I wanted to I can make this also smaller by using the brackets on the keyboard, left bracket and right bracket, right next to the P key on the keyboard. And I could try to get a little more of that tail in there. Uh, let's see here, try to drag into the tail a little bit. Right, just want to get a little bit more of that tail in there. And that's good enough. Once again, it's not good if I get some of these other parts that I don't want. So if I want to lose some of the selection, I can hold down the Alt key. I want the minus on there. The Alt key or the Shift key? Let's see here. Shift, Control, Alt. Maybe it's the Alt. And yeah, the Alt key and to minus a bit of the selection. Get rid of that. Yeah, that looks okay. And I'm happy with that. So I've got a selection here. I'm going to control minus on the keyboard to zoom out, hold down the control key, hit the minus key to zoom out. And so now what I want to do is I want to, I want to keep what I've selected and I want to get rid of the rest. So what I'll do is I'll say select inverse and it selects everything else. Let me show you if I control minus to zoom out. So let, I'll do that again. Let's see here. Select inverse. Now I've selected the buffalo and if I hit select inverse now I've selected everything but the buffalo and I'll press delete on the keyboard and that deletes everything else but the buffalo now I can do a select deselect so that's kinda neat so now I have my uh, buffalo separated from my background layer I can get my move tool the selection tool and I can drag him around and you can see here that I've got two layers and the buffaloes on top of the layer. So the next thing I wanted to show you about was um, what you can do when you have an object like this on a separate layer. Another thing that you can take advantage of is your layer effects. And you can access them right here, right? And one thing I could do is I could do an outer glow. All right, and that'll bring up a pop-up screen. And with the pop-up screen selected, what you're going to want to do is is I'm going to make the size get a little bit bigger, the spread get a little bit bigger, and you'll see now that I've got a nice outer glow around my um, buffalo, which helps separate them out, let's say, from the, from the background. If I want to, I can change the color. I'll change it to, let's say, an orange, bright orange, and click OK. And it still looks the same because the blend mode is set to screen. If I change that to normal, you'll see the orange around the buffalo there. And I could change that to a yellow by clicking in here. And once again, having the size 
spread out. I can adjust the opacity, the spread, all kinds of things. So anyway, that gives a nice like outer glow around the character. Now you might have need for this, you might not. It's it's just something that you're going to play up because I just wanted to show it to you. Another one that you could do, which is nice, I'll turn this one off, is let's say a drop shadow. So you could have a drop shadow effect. I'll click on that. And once again, you can change the angle of the drop shadow and the spread and the distance. And in this case, let's see here. I'll take the spread up to 6 or 7. I'll take the size up to 29. And I'll make the opacity a lot higher. And you can see now that there is a drop shadow around the buffalo, separating him from the background layer. I could change that to normal on the blend mode. And you can see if I drag it, I can even drag the drop shadow and place it however I want it, just by dragging on it. OK, so I'll click OK. And so now I've got the buffalo on a separate layer, plus I've got a drop shadow effect against it. Now, most often what you'll see is when something like this is, you will see um, this taken advantage of with text. So let's do it with text. So I get my text tool and I'm going to create some text and I'll say bison let's say and I'll make it larger and drag it into position and then with the text tool you can also add layer effects. So I'll show you the outer glow and I'll take the opacity up and the spread and the size and you get a nice layer effect on your layer. This one is with text, this one is with an image that has um, transparency around it and once you have that you can add layer effects. You can also get to your layer effects by going to layer um, or image, let's see where is it, layer and where's layer effects? Layer style. There you go. Layer style. It's not layer effects. Layer style. And these are the effects that you can have with a layer style option. Outer glow, inner glow, bevel and emboss, all of these. Another nice thing about these layer effects or layer styles that you can put on a layer is that once you have them on, you can see here I've got this one on this layer right here, the bison, I can turn off the effect by just clicking on the eyeball uh, on the effect, right? I can turn off all effects or just some of the effects. But if I wanted to go in and I say, you know, I need that drop shadow to be a little bit bigger or a little bit darker or what have you, all I have to do is just double click on this FX here and it opens up the window and then I can click on the layer where the drop shadow is and I can up the opacity, let's say, on the drop shadow or take it up to 95%, which make it a little bit darker in that area, you know. So um, also if I wanted to, I could double click on that and click on the drop shadow. And if I wanted to, I could change the color, let's say, you know, to a deep purple or whatever, however I wanted it. So now the drop shadow is a, a deep purple or, or a yellow or however I wanted to do it. And so anyway, that is, once again, these layer effects or layer styles that you can add on to a layer. All you need is a layer with some transparency around the layer. In this case, I have the text. And in this case, I have the drop shadow. And you can also add extra effects if you want. So if I double click on this and I say, oh, I also want to have a uh, color overlay over the text. And now I want that color overlay to be, uh, you know, transparent. Now I've got a red color overlay also on top of the text, which I can turn on and off or turn on and off however I like.